Hey everyone and welcome back to Studio 3B. This is my first update for quite some time and I apologize to all my viewers out there who have uh, been eagerly waiting at the next Hackintosh video. However, um, I've been rather busy with uh, life and that, that just happened. So here is my latest update. So I had been running Mac OS Sequoia for quite some time and it's been relatively stable. And I have, let me just tell you what I have for hardware. I have a Haswell PC, which is ancient, I understand, but um, I just haven't invested in a new PC in quite some time. So anyway, I've been running Mac OS quite well on it. And the way I was able to get Bluetooth and AirPlay working and Wi-Fi was using the open core uh, legacy patcher. So, you know, I configured my Sequoia um, installer using open core and um, you can see my other videos for that. And then to get Wi-Fi working, I used open core legacy patcher. So um, I have other videos describing that, but the, the funny thing is for, you know, the last several months, I don't know, since last year sometime, I had been stuck on Mac OS Sequoia. It was either 15.0 or 15.1. And I was eagerly waiting an update. I was uh, kept checking the software update and it kept saying my Mac is up to date there's no updates available. And um, I was uh, eagerly awaiting this update because I had invested in uh, two YubiKeys uh, for security reasons. And these YubiKeys are for uh, two-factor authentication and FIDO2 compliance and all this other stuff. So uh, I got kind of into security recently just, just trying to lock down my, my internet accounts and all that. So the thing is with the older Sequoia 15.0 or 15.1, there was problems interacting with the YubiKey and it would not authenticate with FIDO2. It wouldn't uh, let me log into iCloud using that. So iCloud allows you to register two YubiKeys to sign into your iCloud account. I wasn't able to use that and I was not able to use the FIDO2 um, security key feature to get into other internet accounts such as Google or anything like that. So I had been requiring to turn off that feature and not use it because Ma this Mac would not, it would just kept prompting me for my pin and it would not actually register the YubiKey um, authentication transaction. So um, that was a known issue on the YubiKey website and I actually opened a ticket with them and and they were, they were telling me to keep checking back on that ticket. Well, they said that the Sequoia had um, patched this and it was updated, but I never received any updates from Sequoia. So I was like, okay. So I did a little research and I saw some other videos out there, you know, that they, they walked through uh, how to do this, but I just wanted to give you my own version of this step that's required. Sometimes, um, the updates won't come because it's just Mac OS thinks your, your hardware is unsupported. So there is a little step you could do to get past that. And I just wanted to share that with you simply. Um, it's, it's not really that complicated. If you're familiar with Hackintosh and you should be able to do this quite easily. Um, it's just an extra text you need to put in your e EFI folder. Um, called restricted events. So just go to, and I can't pronounce this as Sindathera. I might've said it right. Restricted events. Literally just go to the tags, grab the latest one here, download that text. Um, then you're going to go to your Mount EFI, run the Mount EFI command, select your boot drive, which is Mac OS for me, put your password in. It'll mount your EFI folder, go to EFI, OC Kex, and then you're gonna paste in this restricted events.kex. I did it from the release version. Um, open up Proper Tree. So if you don't have it already, download Proper Tree, and uh, let's open that up. Open up that config.plist on your EFI folder, and you're just gonna get that new Kex into your config by just doing OC snapshot. So at first that Kex doesn't automatically show up in your config. You just got to OC snapshot it. Select your OC directory on the EFI partition. 
Now you have the restricted events text in here. Here, you'll see that it, it is in the list um, of your kex. So it is enabled. And so that's that's all set. So now you have to do one more step. Go down to boot args. So put boot hyphen args in your search for key. That's under nvram add and this this guy. Just add this this string. I'll put this in the description below. Rev patch equals sbvmm, and this is a little patch that that tricks the um, operating system into thinking you're you're good to get updates. Uh, you know this is a hackintosh, so don't don't think this is uh, you know fully supported or anything, but for me it works just fine so what you do is you do that and you restart your mac os clean your nvram so that should be one of your one of your tools you have if you don't already have clean nvram make sure you do have it in your efi oc tools clean nvram clean that nvram restart your computer again select your boot device and come back in after i did all that i did have um, under system settings software update under general um, i have i had that update available i did not have to enable sip so i tried doing that 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 was a step that it was did not seem to be required i still have sip disabled and the reason why i have sip disabled is because of oc legacy patcher and getting my Wi-Fi to work. So I, I just leave SIP disabled. I, I don't know if you guys care about that kind of stuff or not, but I just leave that disabled. Um, once I updated my system to 15.3, I ran the OC. Well, it already prompted me anyway, because I have OC legacy patcher right here. Um, it just it just prompted me right away um, that I had an update. So I just did post install root patch again and that got my Wi-Fi to work again. So there you have it. Um, those are the steps in a neat and tidy package. I hope, um, you know, I wasn't able to run through this again. I would have to downgrade my system and redo it for you for the move for the video. But um, in any in any case, it does work. Uh, if you have any problems, you know, maybe this isn't the solution for you, but um, for me, this was it. So I got that to work by doing all that. So leave SIP disabled, enable the restricted events, add the boot of ARG, and uh, update, and then reinstall the post install root patch. Those were the steps to get 15.3. Good news is the Yubi keys are finally fully functional. Uh, I am able to log in simply by inserting my Yubi key and log into certain FIDO2 compliant websites. Um, properly so pretty happy about that thanks for watching this is a very short video but uh if you haven't already please subscribe and um you know like this video and that helps me out appreciate it